Beginning with that search for the missing plane, it's hard to believe this is the third major airline disaster this year. Yeah, there's a disturbing sense of deja vu this morning. Here's what we know right now. Day two of the search operation is now over with no major breakthroughs, unfortunately. Dozens of ships and planes from at least four countries are now helping look for any sign of the missing jet. And the search area expanding overnight, now broken up into seven different zones. Take a look at the map of the plane's route going down in the Java Sea less than an hour after takeoff. ABC's David Curley starts us off in Washington with the very latest. David, good morning. Good morning, Amy. That search area is going to be expanded even further tomorrow. Another four zones added. But darkness has now fallen. The aerial search completed until their morning with a grim prediction today that this jetliner and all on board are lost. This morning, a first full day of searching for Air Asia Flight 8501 with an Indonesian official now saying they, quote, currently suspect the plane is located on the ocean floor. Today the search area grew. Yesterday what are described as four sections, today seven sections searched with more assets arriving. The Indonesians joined by Singapore, Malaysia and Australia, more than a dozen ships, 15 aircraft and more on the way. It was just after 5.30 Sunday morning that the nearly full Airbus A320 jetliner took off from Indonesia's Surabaya Airport, heading northwest to Singapore. But over the Java Sea, the jetliner encounters heavy weather and turbulence. The pilot radioing in at 6.12 saying he wants to turn to go around the weather and climb significantly from 32,000 feet to 38,000 feet. That is his last contact. Five minutes later, the jetliner disappears off Indonesian radar screens. On board, 162, mostly Indonesians. This low-cost carrier has been around for more than a decade. It has a good safety record. The pilot was experienced. This incident, just nine months after the Malaysian Flight 370 disappeared over the Indian Ocean. But there is a notable difference. If Flight 8501 did go down, it likely would have fallen into the Java Sea, a much smaller area than the Indian Ocean and a much shallower body of water, giving searchers a better chance of finding the aircraft. The prospects of finding the black boxes of this airplane went into the middle of the Java Sea is very good. It's close to land. There are a lot of ships that can be brought to bear on it. And even though there's an only 30-day life in the battery, I think they can find it within that time. You need to get close to the debris, and earlier today, an oil slick was spotted and some debris. Both were picked up out of the ocean. They'll be tested. We should hear some results tomorrow. There was also word of some pings, but the Indonesians have dispelled those and say they're not connected. Now, Singapore is the best equipped country in this area. It's offered listening devices, an offer now accepted. So if they can find a sign of wreckage, those devices will be put in the water, and they will listen for those pingers of the black boxes. Dan? A lot more work to be done. David Curley, thank you.